coming to you from Denver, Colorado, home of Remax World Headquarters. It's Adam Contos, CEO of Remax, with a start with a win. How you doing, producer Mark? I'm doing so good. So good. All you right. Know, staying organized in all that I do. Yeah, I was just <laughs> going to ask you, are you organized, man? <laughs> yeah, I, I would say this. As a right brain, and you're a right brain person, too, because you're left-handed. I know that. <laughs> Uh, so being creative, I feel like there's a sense of um, some disorganization, but there's a level of disorganization that I can handle, you know? And sometimes it's like a disorganized that I know exactly what is, where it is, where it's supposed to be. And so sometimes my wife tries to clean up and I'm like, hey, hey, hey. I know where that is underneath that piece of paper behind that desk, you know, <laughs> like I'm creative, but yes, I, I'll tell you, I live by this term. There's a place for everything and everything has its place. And, um, it drives me nuts when it's not there. It, it I guess it goes back to the days when I was in the Marines or something mm-hmm. like that. I don't know, but, um, I like to know where everything's at and I, I like it to be neat and tidy yes. and not have extra stuff. And if there's, if I haven't used it in like three or four years or whatever, it's gone. And I just, I don't know. I, uh, w- do you think we should have an expert on to talk about this? You know what? I think we should. Welcome to the show, Rhea Safford. <laughs> I love it. She, she's in there going, you guys are killing yeah. me. She's like, when are you going to bring me in? This is so disorganized. <laughs> no. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited to be here. Thank you. Well, hey, thanks for being here on Start With A Win. Uh, and if you don't know who Rhea Safford is, she is a wife, a mom, a business owner, and she is the founder and CEO of Reorganize, spelled R-I-O-R-G-A-N-I-Z-E. Kind of a, a tip to your name a little bit, I would yes, say, exactly. right? It's exactly. a luxury home organization business. Since starting Reorganize, her company has helped thousands of families transform their spaces and has equipped each one with the tools and knowledge needed to make organization stick long after the team is gone we got questions for you especially being in the real estate space right i mean there's a lot of people who need to declutter before they get their uh, listing photos taken gosh and i'll tell you there's nothing worse than going into a cluttered house but that's your business that's where you're that's where you thrive right it's my business and i will start with this and this is something that i always like to share and you guys i mean perfectly teed this up for me talking about right brain and you know, being more creative. And the number one thing that I love to share is I am not naturally an organized person. That does not come easily to me. I'm way more the creative side. I'm way more into the space and the aesthetic. And this was something that I truly had to practice and teach myself and regularly, you know, keep showing up for myself when it came to organization. And it was me learning all of these skills and able to implement systems in my own life that got me so psyched to help other people because it wasn't natural. And I feel like that's the most important thing that I love sharing because people just assume like, oh, your brain just thinks that way. And not at all. I don't put caps on things. I don't close drawers. I'm a little bit of a walking nightmare. Um, But there's a place for everything. So it helps that I have, you know, experience with both, both brains, if you will. I, I lo- that's such an interesting observation because I'll tell you when I was a kid, when I was little, um, I don't think you could walk across my bedroom floor without stepping on something. It was horrible. And now I can't stand it when a sock is out of place in my sock drawer. How do you go from I'm super disorganized and what is it in somebody's life that makes them flip that switch and go time to get organized? I feel like it's when you realize that that is something important for you to prioritize in your life. For me, it was getting married, having children. I mean, you accumulate so much stuff during those early phases. um, And then it only grows from there that I realized pretty early on that if I didn't create actual systems that were going to help our home function seamlessly, I wasn't going to be my best self. I wasn't going to be the best wife, the best mom. And so that became a priority to me. It wasn't I didn't know how to do it. I didn't prioritize it. And I feel like that's that's the biggest part. And especially in times like today, there's only so much that we have control over. You have complete control over your space and nobody can take that away from you. And I think that there's something to be said for that. I want to take a step back and talk about your business, your journey as an entrepreneur. How do you go from saying, 
okay, I want to help people organize to actually have a business, a, a real good business on helping people organize themselves. Take, take us through that journey real quick. I started as my my side hustle. I say it was for my target money. It was to help us cover mortgage. Um, the biggest reason I took this leap was I knew the corporate world wasn't for me. I knew I wanted to be my own boss and I knew I wanted to help people. Um, I wasn't even sure exactly what that was going to be, but it happened to me in that phase of life where I had really figured something out. That light bulb just went off as far as the systems that I could create in my home and maintain. And I was interested if I could bring that to other people. You know, does that translate in someone else's home and learning about them? And this started so small, you know, going to mommy and me classes and, you know, gaining a couple clients here and there, you know, a pantry turned into a pantry and a closet turned into, you know, that plus a kid's room. And it started to like, I mean, the demand just started to blow up that my husband was like, you're really on to something here and you could have way quicker turnaround if you just start bringing people on. So my first hire was at the very end of 2017. Um, and now we have 12 employees. We're in Los Angeles, Southern California, um, Austin and Dallas. It's been a heck of a ride. I've learned so much. I mean, as you know, I don't think you're ever done learning um, just about business and running a business. And it's it's been really crazy the reach that this has had. I prioritized Instagram pretty early on in my career. Um I've always kind of talked like a million people were listening, even when there wasn't. And, you know, I think there's a lot to be said for manifesting things, you know, wanting to be able to reach, you know, a celebrity. And now I honestly can't count the A-listers or, you know, athletes or billionaires that we've done. It's just been so fascinating to meet all these different types of people from all these different walks of life. And at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how much money or fame or whatever their situation in life is, everybody needs organization. And it's been so cool to give that gift to people. But what someone really um, made me realize early on was it was less that we were gifting people organization and more that we were giving them their time back. And I know you talk about how important time is and it's the one thing we can't get back. And it's really cool that our business helps gift that in some little way. And you're right. I mean, it's, you know, what's our goal in life? It's to create time and wealth so that we can create those experiences for ourselves and our loved ones that that we've always wanted to experience. And you're right. I mean, you can have all the money in the world, but if you don't have any time, then, I mean, yeah, you're, you're fundamentally poor if you, if you don't have time. And I guess what comes with the organization is this sense of happiness and order in your life, do you see a change in people's psyche when you do an organizing job for them? Oh my gosh. Um, yes. And even just my own, like what a difference it makes. And so many people talk about how, you know, the state of your home is going to affect you mentally. And it's something I've been sharing a lot lately because I have really noticed it is my mental state has started to be a direct correlation of how I started to maintain my spaces. So things really started to fall off if I was just feeling like I wasn't on top of anything and I didn't have it together. But gosh, does my house look good when I am getting up right when I want to. Kids' lunches are made, notes are in there, uniforms are cleaned, like all those little wins throughout my day make such a difference. And having, you know, systems dialed in is, I think, the most important part of that because it helps you stay happy and just motivated throughout your day. But it's really, you know that it's right when it's not even a thought. Like my morning isn't like, gosh, my kitchen's so organized. It should just be that everything I needed to happen happened because I have a system in place. So I have a question about the kind of the convergence of business and organizing because you've had to learn a lot of organizational skills in order to scale your business. And I think there's a lot of crossover here that our entrepreneur listeners can take from this, as well as really anybody who works in business for that matter. What do you see as far as, you know, there's this structure, the systems, things like that. What did you take from your organizing skills and and drop those into your entrepreneurial endeavors? One thing I learned early enough on that was so important was knowing what I don't know. 
And that's kind of what became so important for people to take that step for professional organization. Like that's kind of major. You're like, hey, can you come inside my house and see all my personal belongings? I really need help. And, you know, we definitely don't take that lightly, but people are trusting us to do that. But knowing when you can't do something yourself has been major. And I know that's not exactly what you were asking, but that was the first thing that really came to mind. Um, Because I do think that that is one of the major things that helped us scale was me knowing like accounting, not going to be my gig. I think creating true boundaries for yourself and trying to really be present in exactly what you're doing when you have to do it. I don't know if you can relate, but I feel like I've had plenty of days where I'm like, gosh, I feel like I was working all day long and didn't do anything. Like I have no clue what actually got done for my business that would convert into anything, any sort of numbers. And I feel like I didn't stop doing anything. And that really came down to me not being as organized on the work end of things. I just, I do the best when I have a plan and I stick to it. You can have your plan, you can have your day blocked perfectly, but you might not be putting all of those pieces right where they're supposed to go. And kind of with anything else, just you got to do better tomorrow. And eventually you incorporate these little habits where, okay, yes, like, you know, those blocks where I'm just going to be doing social media, I really only did social media. Those blocks where I'm going to be responding to emails that's when I respond to emails, not all day long. You know, for me, everything was all day long. What do you tell people to keep them from go, from regressing back to being disorganized or allowing things to not be organized? Is there something you say to them? You don't say, all right, I'll see you in six months to do this again, which great, that's repeated business, but you don't want to do that. I mean, how do you, how do you keep them from going back? Is there something you talk to them about or, or do you just kind of let life run its cycle? No, that's that's so right. I always tell them, as much as I want to come back here and spend time with you, you shouldn't have to call me um, not anytime soon because part of what we're doing is we're teaching the tools that we are using ourselves to create these systems. You know, we're learning about our clients to create something that really makes sense to them. And we're walking them through them, how we're folding it, why we're putting something somewhere. We're not just going and lining things up nicely. And I think so much of it comes down to one, being ready to create those little habits that are going to make this something that's part of your regular routine. You know, a big misconception is, oh, I had these professional organizers come in. Why doesn't it just look like that all the time? You know, there aren't fairies that are coming in and doing this for you. You have to be ready to maintain this yourself. And I love that you mentioned diet because I think that what we do parallels so much with someone's nutrition journey. It's the equivalent of being given a workout plan, being given a nutrition plan, being given all of the tools of what you need, but none of that happens if you don't do it. Yeah, I mean, you've given us a lot of gold here. Um, so where, where can we find you on the social medias and uh, how can we uh, learn more about your process? Yes, yeah, so I would say Instagram is our main platform. Um, at Reorganize, R-I-O-R-G-A-N-I-Z-E. And then our website. Our website shares a lot more about our offerings. Um, we actually just relaunched virtual consults. So, you know, it, you don't have to have the budget for us to come in and do, you know, the big scale jobs that we do. It's for a much discounted price and it's open internationally. So it's a way for people to send in photos of spaces they want help with and to get instant game plans and shopping lists. And so that I'm really, really excited about because it can help so many more people. Awesome. Everybody make sure you check out Rhea Safford's uh, social media accounts. And Rhea, I have one more question for you that I ask everybody that's on the show. And that is how do you start your day with a win? Oh, that would easily be my coffee. I think about my coffee before I go to bed at night. So my amazing husband prepares it for me and it is ready when I wake up. And that is the best way to get me going for the day. Awesome. Rhea, thank you so much for sharing your organizing ideas, the systems, the, the background of your business with us. This is such an amazing interview. We appreciate you so much. Thanks for being on Start With A Win. Thank you so much, guys. Hey, and thank you 
for listening to Start With A Win. If you're ready to create personal and business success, make sure to subscribe to this podcast if you haven't already and head over to wherever you get your books and order Start With A Win, the book. For more great content, you can go to startwithwin.com. And until next time, start with a win. Hello, YouTube people. All right. Hey, you see the YouTube people. They're like a special group of people, which they, they kind are. of are. Because if you listen to a podcast by watching it on YouTube, you're you're unique. You're special. You're extra. You're extra. Exactly. Extra, I that's actually right. listen to most of my podcasts on YouTube as well. So, hey, Rhea, I got a question for you. Um, did you... Uh, like have some sort of gift, like every time you were putting away something, it was like magic. And you're like, oh my gosh, I have this gift of putting things color coordinated away. Um, or was it something where you just enjoyed uh, organizing things and, and getting them, you know, put together? I think it was a little mix of everything. I was crazy good at Tetris. Okay. And I, ah, ah. I mean, doing that component the most is just uh, like having a challenge of there's no way this will all fit there. I'm like, okay, let's go. Like we can make this work. And unless obviously there's just way too much stuff, but I do enjoy a challenge and I enjoy the aesthetics and creating something beautiful that's going to help people. What a, win, yeah. what a win-win. Well, hey, thanks so much for being on Start With A Win, hanging out here after the show on YouTube. And uh, if you're watching this, make sure that you subscribe uh, to the channel. Uh, if you'd like this content, hit that thumbs up icon and the bell icon so you get notified every single time a new episode gets released. And until next time, we'll see you when we see you.